That beautiful girl is making a lot of beautiful flowers, but suddenly they turn into weird shapes. What happened to her? Let's hear it. Deep in the land of fairy creatures, there is a kind, mischievous tree fairy carrying the power of life inherited from her mother, Jessica. She lived with her mother in peace until one day, while Jessica was walking in the woods, she caught a woman who was hungry and passed out. So she rushed to help. When the woman awoke, she was so thankful for Jessica's heart that she was suddenly startled to see her sword. Little girl, why do you have this sword? My mother said this was a gift my late father left me, so I always cherished it and took it with me. This sword has a unique design, but it is also very familiar to me. Aren't you? When the woman touched her face softly, Jessica suddenly felt her body tired of a strange source of power. At that time, while hmm. Jessica's mother was looking for her, she suddenly saw the strange woman and horribly attacked her. Stay away from Jessica! <gasps> Little girl, meet me at the ancient tree to get this sword back and know what is the source of this power. Then the woman disappeared with her sword. A little later, she heard her mother's worry when Jessica tried to wake up, and she found out there was a horn on her head. Not only that, when her hands were touched, she also disfigured it by her strange power. Why did my hand make everything so rotten? It's just the destructive force from your horn that I've been trying to seal that's been discovered and dissolved by the tree witch of the tree fairy land. You mean the woman is a tree witch? Besides, why do I have the destructive powers? I've always wanted to hide you from that. Many years ago, <laughs> Tree Witch and I were sisters in the Tree <sighs> Fairyland. However, because your father loved me, he didn't respond to her feelings. For this reason, she spelled a curse about the destructive powers on your father and you. This made everyone hate your father and he was driven away by all until passed away. And since I'm also afraid that the people will hate you, I hide your horn and take you to hide in this land. The last thing the tree witch found us, but I will do everything I can to free your horn. But you must stay home this time, not go anywhere without my permission. I got it. That night, when Jessica was upset with this new power, she discovered that the tree witch had stolen her father's precious sword. Since she was eager to find the sword again as soon as she could break the curse, she decided to sneak away from her mother and set out to find the tree witch. But Jessica didn't notice that when she left, a butt appeared from the place where her magic incident had last occurred. Jessica remembered that the tree witch would meet up with her at the ancient tree, but she had never heard the place before, so she just meandered around indefinitely. Along the way, Jessica saw an old tree that was decaying. So, she intended to use the power of life to revive it. At first, her life force gradually helped the trunk to heal. But because she was startled when she saw a strange creature, Jessica panicked, inadvertently developing destructive powers that caused the trunk to crack more and collapse. Oh no! I keep making mistakes because of this cursed power. However, the rotten parts of old trees suddenly <laughs> sprouted into other beautiful little trees. Thank you for helping the spirit of the old tree to live other lives that are better young sprouts like us. But why is that? Have I not caused old trees to be destroyed? Yes, but sometimes the end is not a bad thing, but it will open a new and better beginning. Just like old trees fall, new plants like us will be born and grow better. But this destructive power brought only calamity to my father and me, just as sometimes I accidentally used this power brought bad luck. So I set out to find a tree witch in the tree fairyland to unleash this power. That's how it works. But we always think that if there's life, there's going to be destruction. Therefore, we think that sooner or later, you will find that this power is useful. All right, I've also asked my friends, wind and trees around here where you're looking. Now all you have to do is go the other way and you will surely reach the ancient tree. <laughs> Jessica says goodbye to the sprouts, continues her journey, and arrives at a traditional farming village the other day, where drought is making people miserable. If they want water for their lives, they have to go very far to get their water back. So, 
Jessica tries to use her life force to create more trees. However, no matter how hard she tried, the trees gradually withered because there was no water source nearby. During the quiet night walking around the town, she suddenly stopped at the statue of Wheat Grain, the symbol of the town. Suddenly, she heard the ragged sound inside the statue that she could not hear before because this place was crowded. This is probably the village gazer. I have to tell them quickly. The next day, Jessica tries to convince people that even though this statue is important, if they don't destroy it, it's hard for them to live. If my judgment is wrong, I will accept to stay to carry the water for everyone. After a moment of wonder at a man who had fallen because of dehydration in his body, the people finally agreed to Jessica using the destructive power of the horn to destroy part of the statue. Finally, the source of water came out of the statue that made people happy, thanking Jessica. Hmm. Unexpectedly, my destructive powers were of such use, but I should still find a tree witch to understand this. Jessica went on to the ancient tree and met the tree mm. witch waiting. I finally met you. That's right. Give me back my sword, please, and tell me what the real power of destruction is. Your mother said I was a tree witch? Mm. Your mother must be very angry with mm. me because I was the one who indirectly hurt your father. But why would you do that to your sister? Because I'm the leader of this tree fairy land. Mm. I can't let... A unicorn, a foreigner, born with the destructive power of the horn, as your father loved your mother then. My father is... a unicorn? Yes, he is. A long time ago, the tree fairies always considered destruction as a bad thing, which should be eradicated. So when we found out that your father was a unicorn, we hated him very much. Because once we misread your father was using his destructive powers to destroy the ancient tree. So we drove him away and hurt him. Later, we knew that your father just tried to give the ancient tree a new life. So he acted like that. However, it was too late. Your father passed away because he put all his strength into the ancient tree and suffered a lot from our magic. And your mother used her magic to hide the horn so no one could know it existed. And your mother took you with her. Hmm? <gasps> if you still want to remove the unicorn horn to become a normal tree fairy, I will use all of my magic to help you destroy this horn. Turns out, that's what this is all about. I... Jessica, stay away from her immediately. Only, Jessica didn't make up her mind yet that her mother tracked down the destructive powers of the places Jessica went through and went to them. Jessica's mother hurriedly snatched the unicorn horn and snapped it with magic. Mother, why are you breaking the horn? Jessica, this is the damning power. If you possess the destructive powers, your fate will be the same as your father's. Mom, the power of destruction doesn't always bring evil, just like it helped me several times on my journey here. Well, that's not possible, and I'm going to prove to you the fact that only the power of life can make people happy. <laughs> Jessica's mother then evolved to prove to Jessica that life only needed life to grow and to eliminate destruction. However, the tree suddenly rose, causing many of the creature's houses to be destroyed, and anyone touching Jessica's mother's magic stream to age quickly. Therefore, Jessica tries to touch the magic stream to be influenced like other creatures to prevent her mother's actions. Jessica, are you okay? Mom, please stop and look around. Really, not always growing. Everything is good because the creatures and plants of the next generation will have no place to reproduce. And in this journey, I also understand that mm. life and destruction are two inseparable things, coexisting to develop mm. and maintain all things. I got it. Seeing everything around you, I <laughs> will try to get everything back to its original position. Jessica's mother and she tried to control the power of life, and eventually everything came back to its original order. But Jessica weakened and fell. Witnessing the synergy of Jessica and her children, 
the sword at the fairy chief suddenly flashed and turned into her father's soul. It turned out that her father's soul had always been by her side and saw the maturation of his wife and daughter when she accepted the destructive power that had appeared to save Jessica. Jessica gradually returned to her original form and together she watched her father's soul turn into a unicorn flying towards the sky. I'm sorry to hurt you and lie about the fact that you came out with Jessica. Mm. Finally, you mm. and Jessica have a better understanding of the forces of life and destruction mm. on this journey. I am also sorry that your mother and son have struggled for so long, but everyone in the land of tree fairies has also gradually changed their minds about life and destruction. Moreover, they also want you to return and welcome new changes. <laughs> of, of course! course. <laughs> After that, Jessica and her mother returned to their homeland with the fairy chief and helped their land grow. Once upon a time, there was a peaceful kingdom ruled by Queen Donna. The rules here were very unique. Princess Joan, <laughs> the only daughter of the queen, might not be the inheritor. The supreme unicorn would choose the owner of the crown. It was a magical unicorn, able to see through people's past, future, and hearts to choose the most worthy person to run the kingdom. Each queen had only one supreme unicorn as a friend. Hmm. If the unlucky queen passed away, the unicorn would die too. <laughs> Queen Donna had a courtier named Eris, who was always beside the queen. <laughs> well done. My daughter is very hardworking. I hope you become my successor in the future, leading the country to become more and more prosperous. Yes, mother. I will definitely try. Well, the older Princess hmm. Joan is, the more <gasps> intelligent and talented she is. It's true that like mother, like daughter. It's <laughs> disgusting, but I'm here. How can I let she easily inherit the throne? It turned out that Eris was a dark witch. She had long approached Queen Donna and gradually won her trust. Eris always tried to avoid the Supreme Unicorn because she was scared of being exposed. She concentrated on cultivating dark magic to wait for the right moment. One day, I will eliminate the Queen and her daughter taking over all power. When Princess Joan was 12 years old, the Supreme Unicorn gave birth to a baby unicorn to continue her magical powers. Queen Donna and Princess Joan came together to bless the baby unicorn. Awesome, beautiful baby unicorn. Welcome to this world. At this time, Eris had cultivated enough dark power. Seeing that the time had come, she broke in with a wicked laugh. How touching! Mm. The queen and her daughter have come to bless the baby supreme unicorn so that in the future it will recognize the princess's throne. Eris, who let you in here? This is an important royal ceremony. Outsiders are not allowed to participate. It's been long enough for me to hide myself. Now that my dark powers have been trained completely, nothing can stop me. I am the witch. Eris. Eris turned her face. The evil witch began casting spells to attack the queen. Joan, it's dangerous. Run away from here. <sighs> Mother, but what about you? Listen to me. Run away. I will follow you later. Are you crazy, queen? Let me out. Never. Don't try to catch my daughter. Joan, don't look back. Run away! Thanks to the Queen's protection, Princess Joan was able to escape the palace in time. Eris was very angry. She used her dark power to harm the Queen, the Supreme Unicorn, and the Baby Unicorn. <laughs> ha! The little Joan run away. But even if she escaped, she won't be able to do anything to me anymore. Poor queen and princess. They have been harmed and died. 
I can only save this newly born supreme <laughs> unicorn. But this unicorn is too young. We have to wait at least six years when it is stronger to find a successor. This baby unicorn seems to trust hmm. Eris a lot. Sooner or later, she will be chosen to be the successor. The kingdom cannot be without a ruler. I will temporarily rule this place until this supreme unicorn matures and chooses a new king. It turned out that after eliminating the supreme <laughs> unicorn, Eris did dark hmm. magic, revived the baby unicorn, turning it uh. into a soulless body that only obeyed her serving her scheme. With this supreme unicorn, it's only a matter of time before I become the queen of this kingdom! <laughs> Talking about Princess Joan, she <coughs> ran away into the deep forest that night. The next day, the girl secretly returned to the palace to find out the news. The queen and the supreme oh. unicorn have passed away. From now on, Miss Eris will temporarily rule the kingdom, while the supreme unicorn matures and chooses a successor. <laughs> This is not a place for you dirty girl to play! Go away! No! Let me out! Let me out! After that, Joan began to live in the forest, practicing martial arts for herself. As time passed, Princess Joan became a beautiful and strong young woman. She was still waiting for the opportunity to take revenge on the evil witch and take back everything that belonged to her. Shortly, the six-year period had passed, and the ceremony to choose the new king of the Supreme Unicorn was about to take place publicly. Everyone! The Supreme Unicorn has grown up! With a special ability, it will help us choose a king with enough virtue! <laughs> the Unicorn, with a lifeless look, quickly chose Eris as the new queen of the kingdom. <laughs> the crowd was just about to congratulate her when Joan appeared, jumping to stop Eris. Uh. so quickly this ritual is meaningless it's all a lie by Eris I am Princess Joan now I'm back Princess Joan has returned you want to take back the powerful throne so let's just follow the rules see if the supreme unicorn bows to you or not everyone listen Everything six years ago was Eris' scheme. She harmed my mother, Queen Donna, and the Supreme Unicorn, and took over the kingdom. Is that so? All right then, everyone. Let's review the whole truth. Eris controlled the unicorn to project images of the past for all to see. It was the scene where Princess Joan was naughty, accidentally harming her mother. The Supreme Unicorn also oh. passed away because of that. Oh my god! What happened to the Queen and Supreme Unicorn? Princess Joan, what have you done? The Supreme Unicorn is only loyal to a single king. If the owner dies, it cannot live. The thing had happened. Princess should get out of here 
Let me announce this to the people! <laughs> it's the truth that happened six years ago. It was Princess Joan who harmed the Queen and Supreme Unicorn. She has no right to take over the throne! The Princess made an unforgivable mistake. Get, Get her, her out, out of here! here! You have heard the request of the citizens. Get out! <gasps> Everyone, you may not believe me, but will you believe in this creature? <gasps> Suddenly, a beautiful unicorn appeared at Joan's call and flew to stand beside her, surprising everyone. This is the true descendant of the Supreme Unicorn. Buddy, tell them who the liar is. The Supreme Unicorn emitted a magical light, causing the fake unicorn beside Eris to instantly disappear. There are two Supreme Unicorns? Why has one of them disappeared? What is the truth? Actually, six years ago, the Supreme Unicorn Mother gave birth to twin baby unicorns, not only one baby unicorn. <gasps> Impossible! <laughs> <laughs> when you broke into the room to attack everyone, you didn't know the existence of this second baby <gasps> unicorn. <laughs> My mother held you tight and sheltered for me to escape. <sighs> At that time, I took it with me and escaped from the palace. In the past time, I have lived with this unicorn in the forest, overcome many hardships, grown together and trained ourselves, waiting for the day of revenge <laughs> and reclaiming everything from you. The Supreme Unicorn proudly moved past Eris's face and bowed respectfully to Joan. It had chosen the new queen of the kingdom. That's how it all turned out. The Supreme Unicorn's choice can't go wrong. Hmm. Our new queen is Princess Joan. Soldiers, capture Eris and put her in the dungeon right now. Want to catch me? It's not that easy. I will destroy you like your mother. With the help of the Supreme Unicorn, Joan gained more strength yeah. and knocked the witch down. <laughs> Cursed child, I will show you the evil power of a dark witch! Eris turned into a terrifying evil monster. She used all her strength to destroy Princess Joan. However, Joan was able to dodge it all. She quickly flew high with the unicorn. Their magical light counterattacked the witch, making her eyes not able to see anything. Ah, my eyes! With all her strength, Joan put the sword into the monster Eris. The evil witch had completely vanished. The queen! The, queen! the, unicorn! the unicorn! From then on, Joan joined the supreme unicorn to protect the people <laughs> in peace, leading the kingdom to develop more and more brilliant than before. Wow, fairy tales.